Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Brass Monkey X. So, we're working on Project Starling here again tonight. And uh, we're at the point now where we're going to go ahead and install our compensator. Okay, so here in New Jersey where I live, if you're installing a muzzle device on a firearm, it has to be permanently affixed. Okay, so there's two ways you can do that. You can either silver solder it on, which I'm not opting to do. Or you can go the route that I'm going to go and you can pin and weld your muzzle device onto your barrel. Okay. Well, here in New Jersey, you can't have a flash hider. So I'm going with the Strike Industries Warhog Compensator. Okay. It's this here. Now, with your compensator, you're going to get a crush washer. Okay. Looks like this. You're going to need yourself a pin. Okay. So you can actually pin it to the barrel. I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to use some red thread locker here. Okay. Just as a, just as a fail safe, make sure it's on there good and tight. Um, but yeah, let me show you what I got going on so far, guys. Um, I tried to film this a little bit earlier. What I did was I already drilled the hole here. Okay. Now, while I was filming it, let me show you over here on the drill press. What happened was I ended up burning through a couple of drill bits while I was attempting to do this. It wasn't one, but actually two drill bits snapped off on me, okay? Broke two of them. So, little advice when you're doing this, guys. Get your compensator clamped into your drill press real good, okay? Make sure everything's aligned near your drill bits lined up exactly where you want your hole to be, okay? And then make sure you have some WD-40 on hand, okay? You're going to want to go real slow, okay? You bring your press down, just do a tiny bit at a time, and make sure to constantly lubricate with your WD-40 as you go, okay? It ended up taking me a good five minutes or so to get through this thing, because you can only go just a little bit at a time. If you try to go too fast and you're not using the lubricant, you're not using your WD-40 to cool everything down, you're just going to burn through your bits like I did, okay? So heed my warning here, guys. Go nice and slow and make sure you're lubricating it as you go, okay? So let's go back over to the bench. I'll show you where we're at here, okay? And get you set up on the tripod here. You know, let me go ahead and try and zoom in a little bit for you. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install the compensator on the barrel, okay? So in order to do that, first things first, we're going to put a little bit of this uh, thread locker on there, okay? You don't need to overdo it. Just put a little bit on there. It'll spread itself out. Then you're going to put your crush washer on, okay? Now, you can see the crush washer is beveled, all right? You want the smaller end to be towards the firearm. You want the fatter end to be towards the compensator, okay? So you're going to orient it just like that. Slide it on there over the threads, okay? Then you're going to take your compensator you're just going to screw that on hand tight, okay? Snug it up the best you can with your hand. Now, what you want to do is you want the compensator to be timed properly, okay? Which means you want the 12 o'clock position on the compensator to line up with the 12 o'clock position on your barrel, okay? Now normally, this should only be about a quarter turn, okay, from where you're at. If it's more than that, that's okay. You don't really want to turn it more than like a full turn and a quarter, okay? Then you're getting way too tight. The compensator should only be torqued down to about 15 to 20 foot-pounds of torque, okay? But, I mean, if it was manufactured properly, when it threads on, you should only have about a quarter turn to go. You don't want to go past that 12 o'clock position, though, because then you're going to have to rotate all the way back around. You can't go backwards, okay? 
So, we go ahead and put our wrench on here. Now, if you don't have an armorer's wrench, you can use any kind of wrench, guys. You have an adjustable wrench, whatever. Anything will fit on here. You know, it's fine. You don't have to use the armorer's wrench, but I just happen to have one. So, we put that on there. And then real slow, you want to start to torque this down, okay? Take it off and check. Now, mine, it's real easy to tell with this compensator because... Strike Industries put their logo right on the top at the 12 o'clock position, okay? So once we get that lined up with the top of the barrel, we know we're good. Like I said, take your time with it, guys. You don't want to over-tighten it. If you go too far, you can't turn it backwards, okay? So just go a little bit. Take your wrench off. Take a look. See if you're there yet. If not... Turn it a little bit more, okay? Almost there. Just a little bit more. And that should be it, guys. That looks pretty good. You know what? Let me just... Just a hair more. There it is. That looks good. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead. We can take this out of our vise. Okay. Let me just zoom you back out. All right. Let me get it out of the vise here. Let me show you what we got. So there it is, guys. It's on there. It's nice and tight. We got our thread locker on there. We got a crush washer. Okay. Now, you have this hole on the bottom here. Okay. That's where your pin's going to go. Now, we don't want to put the pin in there yet. Okay. We're going to have to go back over here to the, uh, to the drill press. Okay. And what we're going to do is, in order to make this permanently affixed, okay, so that it can't come back off, we have to put it back in the, in the drill press here. And then we're going to have to, one more time, bring that drill bit down, okay? And we want to drill right through there and onto the threads of the barrel itself, okay? We want to drill through the threads just a tiny little bit so that it, what it's going to do is it's going to mar up the threads enough so that our pin will fit in there. And this device, the muzzle device, isn't going to be able to back out ever again. Because we're going to completely end up destroying the threads on the inside. Okay. So the threads will get destroyed. And the pin will seat itself into the threads of the barrel as well as through the muzzle device. Okay. So we'll get this set up here. Let me just scoot this over. All right, we're going to clamp this back down. Make sure we're in there nice and straight before we tighten it up. Make sure this lines up. Yep, we're a little off. So, loosen that up. And right about there looks pretty good, guys. Sorry if my arm's in the way. This is kind of hard to do while I'm filming. Yeah, the bit's fitting right in there. It's looking pretty good. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get this turned on. And we're just going to drill down just a little bit, okay? We'll get a little bit of WD-40 on there. 
Go ahead and turn our bit our uh, drill press on. And let's rock and roll here, guys. That should be it, guys. All right, that should be good. Let me just clean this off and we'll go back over to the bench. get this wiped off all right now now we can go ahead put our pin in okay we're going to take our pin, you know, let me zoom in a little bit for you. All right. All right, guys, we're just going to take our pin. We're going to drop it in the hole here. Just like that. And then we're just going to go ahead. We're going to tap it down with our mallet. Okay, and we're going to get our punch, okay, we're going to push it down all the way. All right, Let's see if you guys can see in there. There you go. We're officially pinned. Now, in order to weld this, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the drill press, okay, and we're going to countersink this hole a little bit so that the weld has somewhere to go. This, this hole's real small. So we're going to use a bigger drill bit now, okay, and we're going we're gonna to countersink this just a little bit to open that hole up at the top just so that weld has somewhere to go. So let's go back over to the drill press. And zoom back out. Okay, we're going to go ahead and change our bit. All right, we got a much wider bit in there now. Just slide you over. We're gonna go ahead and clamp this back down in there. Okay, you want to make sure you're good, make sure it's lined up. You can see we're a little off. Just going to go ahead and turn that just a little bit. Okay, as you can see, we're lined up with our hole. 
okay? We just want to bring this down just a little bit to open up the top of that hole so our weld has somewhere to go. Go ahead and take this out. <laughs> head back over to the bench again. Sorry guys, you're probably getting dizzy all this back and forth. I'll show you what we got there. And there it is. We put a little bevel on the top there. We countersunk it just a little bit. So then now when we come in here and we weld this, the weld has somewhere, it has some space to fill in here, okay? That hole that we had before was way too small. But there it is, guys. All right, so now we're at the point where we can go ahead and weld our compensator. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a welder here on premises. I, I do know a guy who, who has a welder. He, he's actually a welder by trade. So he's going to help me do this. He's going to show me how it's done. Um, I'm probably going to actually do the welding. He's going to teach me how to do it. So we're going to weld up that compensator. I'm probably going to do it sometime tomorrow afternoon, I guess, when he gets home from work. Um, I'll see if he wants me to film. I don't know. He may be a little camera shy. So you may not be able to see me put the tack weld on there. All right, it's just going to be one little tack. You know, it it's, shouldn't be too difficult for what he explained to me. But, uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. That's how you pin and weld a barrel. Well, that's how you pin the barrel. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do the welding off-premises. And then there really isn't much left on this firearm once we're done with the welding that up. I mean, I just got to basically put the sights on it. Um put the insides in the uh, upper receiver here, the bolt carrier group, the charging handle, and we're pretty much done. We're ready to go, guys. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you tonight because, like I said, unfortunately, I don't have a welder here on premises. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, I really appreciate you watching, and we'll, we'll catch you next time.